Well, welcome to the University of Michigan. We're so thrilled you're here. Why don't you, uh, for our listeners, introduce yourself uh, and uh, tell us a little bit about your current position. Thank you very much, Professor Feldman, for inviting me. I'm really amazed that uh, just following a few days after our meeting at the World Congress of Neurology in Montreal, you invited me to come visit you here. I'm Alfred Kong Jabshi, and uh, I'm a neurologist, a clinician scientist. I'm professor of neurology and neuroscience at the Faculty of Medicine and Biomedical Sciences of the University of Yale Number One. And uh, recently, I've been asked to take care of all the residency programs in our university and maybe some of them around the country that are younger. Wow. And I'm uh, head of the neurology department of our teaching hospital, the Central Hospital. And uh, I also am founder and uh, CEO of Brain Research Africa Initiative, which is an organization we created to put together neuroscientists of all fields uh, to use neuroscience evidence or create evidence mm -hmm. where it is lacking uh, to contribute to policy and development of the continent yeah, of Africa. So I was just really excited when you told me about yeah. this initiative that you lead. Yeah. So can you give me an example of like something that's, well, maybe two questions. Once yeah. something gets accomplished, so we can, our, our listeners will, come, you know, understand in a granular way what you're doing, but also maybe another example of what you hope to get done in the next three years. One, one example of things we have created is, for example, the, uh, the, what we call the Brain Week. In, it started as the Brain Week in Cameroon, mm -hmm. which was an idea of raising awareness on brain health, neuroscience and brain health getting medical students, getting residents, getting colleagues to get together. And what we do is we bring brain health closer to the people. In Cameroon, we have very few clinicians for brain health. So what we do is we encourage those that are practicing to, to give free consultations to, to patients in different regions, encourage mm -hmm. them to go into the villages and provide free medical care. And it's people, during that week. During that week. Wow, that's it could brilliant. be before, within, or a little after, mm -hmm. within that period, create time to offer care to people that cannot afford it, cannot come to the city. And then we also raise awareness on brain health by giving radio talks, television mm -hmm. talks, mm -hmm. talks in faculties to encourage schools, primary schools, secondary schools, to encourage young people to know about the brain, to know about neuroscience, and that might encourage them to pick up careers in neuroscience fields. So before I ask you about your goals, let me ask you to maybe tell me a little bit more about the problem of brain health then in Africa. I may not be as aware of it as I should be. I think the problem of brain health in Africa can be summarized in two or three sentences. The burden is very huge and the burden is increasing. The resources are very few. Mm. And uh, there is very little awareness. So I think if we can build capacity in terms of human capacity and build structural and infrastructural capacity uh, with collaborations, we'll be able to tackle the problems of brain health in Africa, starting with small units and then scaling up. Mm -hmm. But this is in our experience mm -hmm. in the past 25 or 28 years. We have learned that when you can think big, start small and grow, bottom up, it does help. And that must be part of your vision then for the next. Exactly. What we see is we see in the future, in the next five years, if we can be able to do that, is to build a center of excellence in Cameroon for Africa. Cameroon, why? Because Cameroon is a bilingual country officially. We speak both French. We have, we've inherited both the French and English cultures in the country. We couldn't use any of our languages because we have more than 250. <laughs> Well. officially <laughs> but, wow. and we know that the French speaking countries in our continent mm -hmm. are lagging behind in science because of this cultural divide and we think that culturally and even geographically mm -hmm. we are well situated to be able to be the liaison between the French speaking countries and to help them to catch up with the English speaking countries in terms of neuroscience research education and care provision and with the rest of the with the rest of the continent and the rest of the world. And Can I ask, are, is the World Health Organization involved at all or of any assistance to you? 
We have gone to the World Organization in Geneva Headquarters, mm -hmm. we worked with them, but I must say that the World Organization has the policy, but probably does not have the power of its policy in terms yes. of finances. Right. And then we are getting to the regional headquarters in Brazzaville, and I think they're listening to us. We hope that that communication, that conversation will, will improve, but we certainly have had the support of the Cameroonian government, and we are getting support from faculties of medicine, not only from Cameroon, but from neighboring countries in uh, West wonderful. Africa, Central Africa. One of our pro pro products is called the Brain Trust Tournament, where we get teams of medical students to compete at the same time, and we give so. prizes to them. And this is spreading this year, just next week. We'll be conducting that, and we have uh, representations from all of the regions of Africa. That's fabulous. Yeah. That is. Yeah. So let me thank you for visiting us here it's been at the University of Michigan. It's been wonderful to have you. And I know that uh, the director of our Global Hope Pro uh, Program, Dr. Kolars, just you know contacted me and said he had an exceptional visit with you. So I hope this is, uh, I'll have to say, let's, this is the first visit of many here in Ann Arbor. Thank you so much for coming. It's been an honor for me to represent Brain and our country at the University of Michigan. Thank you for the invitation.